Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy62 here today giving you week four of the NPL series. As you may know, I'm one and two currently. Um, I'm facing the Colorado Avalugs, which are also coincidentally one and two. We are both in the same conference, so therefore it's rather important that I do well this battle today for both my conference and the fact that I have two games lost already. So uh, I was just switching another Mon here a second ago. Um, I just felt this might be a better Mon to put here. Um, I might just need to run Taunt now I think about it. Um, that way I don't need to like hurt my defense. Uh, basically I was just worried about rocks being a thing and therefore I want to prevent that as much as I can. So, um, basically trying to do that. We can just do taunt HP ice. Give that the minus. And no, we need hot HP, of course. Um, and this should be okay. Um, so that's nice. Handle a decent amount of his team with just this alone, actually, now I think about it. Um,. This is specially oriented because I didn't see Diamond Storm being too helpful, plus Earth Power being very nice against some of his team, especially like Plefki. I have Toxic because I do want to wither some things down like Chansey. Um, even though obviously has Natural Cure, it's nice to get some momentum. B Sharp, Sash, it's always been helpful for me. Oh my gosh, it almost had no attack, that could have been a problem. <laughs> Gengar is modest because it's modest Scarf, nice to trick perhaps a Chansey. Um, I have Icy Wind over Focus Blast because um, I feel like it's going to be a better utility versus things like Landers, for example, as opposed to Focus Blast missing. Um, yeah, it's modest because nothing outspeeds it. Nothing has a speed tier where if it's Jolly or um, Timid, that it'll outspeed Gengar. So then we have Metacham, which is just really good against this team overall. Nice priority, of course, and then coverage is pretty good. Now this is a throne for a swing. It's Banded Manaphy. Um, doesn't do super well against Megaltaria and Rotom, but hey, maybe a return will hurt a bit. Um, plus, it's going to completely confuse him. I needed something with U-Turn because of his hoop unbound, and therefore, I wanted to bring this. So here we are. He does have his Hoopa unbound, which is probably unbound indeed. Um, ready to go for a stroll. So, all right. All right, have fun, man. Yep, Jolt is already in here. Um, yeah. So we should be set to go. He definitely has a threatening team indeed. And hopefully things go well, to be honest. Um, he has Mew versus Chansey. And that's great because Gengar is going to have a very fun time. Um... <laughs> Almost lost his team on Shun. This is a team I was kind of looking at before, uh, which actually is the exact same mons. Well, that's really funny. <laughs> um, chances are the sets aren't going to be identical, but you know. Um, let's see here. So if I'm to start with Gengar, um, oh you hex! I don't know. Let's just give it max attack. Modest. I want to see how much a Shadow Ball does. Um, how much a Shadow Ball does to a Mew? A lead Mew? I don't know. Um, Defog, perhaps? Um, barely a 2 a KO, really. However, he doesn't have something to really bring in other than Hoopa himself. You guys better like my jokes running. Okay, so I'm just going to start with Thundee, I suppose. Um, nothing really wrong with that um, as I just don't want him to get free rocks first turn however how fast is my B sharp um, thanks for the support my dude um, I am jolly I think that was because I was debating against Hoopa um, yeah it overall should be okay to lead with this however I don't want rocks at all and that's why thunderous has taunt so he starts with this. Um, this could be a bit of a problem. Aurora's. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he's going to go for here. If he's Scarf, he's just going to go for rocks. 
Um, or if he's Scarf, he's gonna go for Stone Edge and kill me. Um, clearly not necessarily the case. Um, hmm. The thing is, I kind of want to bring in Manaphy because then I can U-turn off of him. Um, because chances are you wouldn't want to stay in with that. But, I mean, HP Ice is very obvious, you know? Um, but if he's Scarf, that's very good to know. If he attacks me first turn, he's going to. Um, oh, I thought it was an Aurora's pun. I suck. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, gonna, you know? I'm gonna go directly into Manaphy. That is my play. That was my final decision. If he really goes for rocks here, so be it. You're a winner. Um, but we will see. He decides to go for Stone Edge. He misses anyway. Um, so what's he going to bring in? Who knows? This again. He says. He deserved that for the nickname. Okay. Um, here, I'm free to U-turn. Um... Obviously, to reveal that I'm not fully special. Um, I don't know if he's going to go into Clef Key, though. I mean, assume basically that I'm going to Tail Globe here. That's what I'd think, right? I don't know. Let's press U turn. Because I just don't want to predict right away his potential defogger. Okay, good. This is great. That's a lot of nice damage. Um, geez, that's aggressive. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that did a button. <laughs> Butt ton. Literally has a band on his man feet. Got him. Um, okay, so I don't know if he's... Assume I'm abandoned mana fee, you know, standard dot. Um, 252. Jolly. Um. Versus a Rotom Wash. Okay. Physically defensive. U turn. Would do 17. Choice banded, though. Um. I do 25, up to 25, 21, 25. His Rotom is not phys fully physical defensive. Um, he must be offensive. He is 100% offensive. Um, how much does Gengar do? Oh, you life orb, but take off that and make him modest. Um, Shadow Ball does enough to kill. I think it is a good play to go directly into Gengar and press Shadow Ball. Frick! Oh, for a second, I was so scared. I thought I didn't have my scarf on because I didn't see an item and I was really upset. <laughs> um, alas, it's time to press Shadow Ball. Yeah, judging by the fact that he doesn't have an item revealed, that crit did not matter. Um, didn't matter, right? 56. Um, perhaps, but like, it was in my favor for it to kill. Um, I'm not going to reveal my scent in the case that he says something. Nice crit. But yeah, um, he says nice crit, but when you see it, Togue, as well as a couple other of a couple other guys that will see this, you'll see that I'm modest. So um, it doesn't matter as much as it does. However, I'll probably explain it in the Skype chat afterwards. Um, I'm not going to say that now, though. So I think it's fine to go into Diancy here. If he has freaking HP steel, it sucks to suck, and I suck. But, um, I'm just going to go to Diancy. Interesting. So he decides to go in with his good old Landris. 
I'm obviously physically defensive. I'm just going to rocks as he rocks. That's fine. Um, I don't know what he's necessarily going to go into. It's not really a great situation for either of us to be in. Um, he has no real reason to not EQ right now. Um, how much does Landorus' Stone Edge do if it's max attack? It'll kill after rocks if it's max attack. And adamant. Um, but I don't think that's the case of what he is. Um... Hmm. His only thing to resist banded waterfall is Altaria, and that's kind of great for me because, like... Yes. Um, what do I want to do? I lose my Sash and my B-Sharp now, so that kind of sucks. But, um... Can't believe he's stone- what if he's Scarf Rocks? Cause the way he's stone edged first turn... What? You know? Um, so... I kinda just wanna Moon Blast. I don't know, this thing is great for handling Hoopa, and so I don't wanna waste it. I feel like there's a decent chance that he's gonna go into Clef or something. Um, yeah, let's go to Gengar, as he decides to bring in Clef, and that's fine. Um, as knowing now that he's not, um, Scarf, I'm pretty fine with just tricking here, as he might T-Wave me while I could spam Shadow Ball. I'm first going to trick, because that'll forever cripple his Clef key, and good things, good things. So, um, yeah. Not the ideal situation for me as he's going to get up a ton of hazards, but am I taking my time for the football game? No, no, no. <laughs> you are mistaken. Um, yeah, I'll just press Shadow Ball a ton of times. Spikes are annoying, but not terrible for me. Um, I don't know what kind of Hoopa he is yet, but um, wait a second. Oh, because he put it spikes up first. I, gonna be real honest, I do not agree with that play at all. Um, I don't know why he wouldn't just get another spike as opposed to doing very little damage unless he has some kind of damage output he's looking for specifically. Um, but that's that. Oh no, after this he might try to go into Landers to try to eat up a hit. I didn't reveal Icy Wind yet, obviously, but um, yeah, that's going to be cool to note. He doesn't really have something great for my team now unless his Hoopa is Scarfed. In which case, power to ya, my dude. Um, yeah, so yeah, he might be Scarf. He might be Scarf right now, for sure. Um, I'll be at 75 when my Diancy comes in. Um, let's see, Hoopa, Unbound, assume it's Scarf. Obviously hyperspace is going to kill me a million times over. But, um, Diancy, Tank, give it like, what, 162 we'll say, and Bold. Um... Hyperspace is going to do very little damage to me. So that's kind of really cool. Um, is it worth sacking it right now? I mean, Gengar is really good against this team. Like, really good. Like, should I sack something? I think I should sack B Sharp. Then we can gauge by the damage. How, um, what set he is. As he gets a crit, he's life one. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Um, I feel like there's no reason not to sucker right now. Um, he might think I'm life orb for crying out loud. But, uh, let's just sucker. Now that I know he's life orb, I feel like his hoop unbound is not that 
helpful to him, so he might as well kill it off. However, Sucker Punch is, of course, fairly obvious, so um, it's up to him. But yeah, it goes down, that's great. Um, yeah, he has Mew, Altaria. <laughs> okay, okay. Data Altaria. Oh no. Unless he's adamant he's going to outspeed me, so that kind of sucks, but it honestly should be fine. I'm just gonna press Iron Head. Oh, that kills, good. Great. <laughs> this is definitely looking good now, so that's that. Oh, okay. Well, that is. He made it adamant. I made mine jolly. This is why Jolly helped out after all. <laughs> um, there goes another week. I mean, both of us were not in a great position this week, so um, definitely was important for both of us. Um, what do I want to do here? I can see how fast he is, I guess. Um, let's see. B sharp hits 262. Um, Mew hits, well, naturally it's 236. Um, naturally it's 236 versus B sharp, which is, um, 262. So he could be defensive for all I know, um, as he is. Leftovers, he decides to go for the Willow, takes me out, cool. Um, that's fine. I believe it is now, as long as, let's see, I just want to make sure, like, if HP Ice will kill with Landris against Landris, um, because, oh no, wrong set. Um, I just don't want to miss with Icy Wind, um, and that would really suck. Um, oh, you defensive, um, thunderous, prankster attacker, life orb, why don't you have HP ice for crying out loud? Um, so it should kill, even if he's max HP, and just doesn't have special investment, so, um, let's press thunderbolt. That's true, no 6-0. Um, but yeah, hopefully this kills off. Oh, he misses because he is Scarf. So that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to press GG because he is not upset. Because er, he is upset. So, yeah. Obviously, he would have still won. But... Yeah, so going into Manaphy after all would have been better. Um, but he said, thank you for being a good sport. Um, obviously, this is unfortunate for you. Um, I'm not going to rationalize that at all. Um, he was Scarf Landers with rocks. I did not expect that. Um, scarf rocks, yep. So I didn't expect that. That was definitely cool. Um, so bringing in Gengar or Thunderous would have likely caused me to die whether he went for it or not or whether he um whether he went for if he hit stone edge so it still would have been a differential of 4-0 because then it would have brought in manaphy which definitely would have taken a hit um so thank you mew thank you for being a cool dude thanks for supporting me um yeah thankfully that puts a win in the books a 5-0 really should have been a 4-0 um yeah that sucks. Stone Edge is a thing, and that's why I was worried about even using Focus Blast on my team, for crying out loud. Um, so, yeah, that that's that. That's going to put me at 2-0 now, which is better. <laughs> Clearly, I have some work to do, though. Um, next week, we are facing... Next week, we are facing... 
the St. Louis Fresh Rams, I believe is their name. And um, yeah, so that'll be, that'll be quite the match indeed. Let's see, let's see uh, what they are right now, just because we're here. Um, St. Louis Fresh Rams, they are my dude, Matty Brolic. He is currently 4 0. So that's threatening. We've got some work to do if we're going to accomplish anything. So, that said, hope you guys all enjoyed. Got some work to do. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, sub. Until later, peace.